Students, what we're going to discuss right now is diabetes and exercise. Diabetes and exercise, lesson one. First of all, let's talk about the benefits of exercise. We as nurses can motivate patients by letting them know what are the advantages of this endeavor. So let's go with some of the advantages of exercise. Benefits. First, losing weight. There's nothing like going to the store to buy some new clothes after you've lost an inch or two on your waist. Everybody will testify that's exciting. But losing weight. Cardiovascular conditioning. Getting in good shape. Sense of well-being. You'll find few people who do exercise that say, I feel terrible afterwards. Generally speaking, people who do exercise, they feel good. They're keeping their body in shape. So it reduces atherosclerosis. Now, you notice I put an asterisk here about atherosclerosis. The reason being, in a diabetic, atherosclerosis is a very, very serious complication and very common. It's, a diabetic is at greater risk for atherosclerosis than a non-diabetic. And we remember with atherosclerosis, it branches out, it affects the blood vessels, so we can get a stroke, have a heart attack, or have peripheral vascular disease. Okay, so reduces uh, atherosclerosis complications. Improves insulin sensitivity. Again, exercise improves insulin sensitivity. And remember, at the heart and soul of type 2 diabetes is the cellular resistance to the work of insulin. What's the antidote, at least here? Improves insulin sensitivity. Okay, manage cholesterol levels. We know that our cholesterol levels become more healthy as a result of exercise. Um, and then lowering your blood pressure. Mighty wonderful benefits. Now, let us remember a unique thing also with the relation to glucose and exercise. Muscles being exercised as opposed to at rest uses glucose 20 times more and without insulin. What a win-win situation. Everything good seems to have some sort of fly in the ointment, some sort of negative thing or some concern, and this is not unlike to this situation. Therefore, there are risks with exercise that are unique to the diabetic. First of all, and probably most serious, life threatening is a hypoglycemic episode. Blood sugar gone too low. Let me add to that, when they're having a hypoglycemic episode, they may not be able to sense it. If you're sitting down and you all of a sudden notice your heart racing, you start to get sweaty and nervous and anxious, and you're a diabetic, hmm, you start to think, I think I'm having a hypoglycemic episode. When you're running and jogging, you may be unaware of that. All right, hyperglycemia, blood sugar will go too high while you're doing exercise. We'll explain that later. So hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia and trauma. Remember that um, some of our diabetics have problems with neuropathies. They may not feel certain things when they're running around. They may stub their toe here or something and an injury can ensue. Another caution, anaerobic exercise, the one that really builds muscles. Um, some examples the textbook will talk about yoga, sit-ups, weightlifting, when you're <clears throat> really straining. Now, they build muscle, but you must consider that strenuous exercise, that sudden burst of strenuous exercise, will raise your blood pressure. Is that a problem? Well, can harm patients with retinopathy. Remember, the diabetics can have problems with retinopathy in their eyes. And nephropathy, the problems with the kidneys. But we want to go on a good note, and we know that exercise is an absolute excellent thing to be involved with. Thank you.